Google beats OpenAI in releasing the weights of Gemini's lighter version. Gemini is Google's flagship model and Google has decided to release the lighter version of Gemini as a 2 billion parameter model and a 7 billion parameter model. This new model is called Gemma. I mean, Google somehow always comes up with a new name. Uh, leaving that aside, I truly appreciate this effort by Google DeepMind, Google Brain. So releasing new two models, Gemma 2 billion parameter model and Gemma 7 billion parameter model. So they have released the model weights in different formats. One, you have got the pre-trained model in itself and you have got also the instruct fine-tuned models. The models are available on Kaggle. So you can right away go ahead and then start using it on Kaggle or it is also available on Hugging Faces Model Up. So there are two different places out of box. You can readily use Gemma, the 2 billion parameter model and the 7 billion parameter model. One, go to Kaggle and use it. Why do you want to use Kaggle? If you want free GPU, you can use it, use it on Kaggle. Kaggle is owned by Google. And also you can go to Hugging Face Model Up and then you can use it. The only condition is you have to accept certain terms of services that you have to do. So you have to be logged in either on Kaggle or Hugging Face. You have to be logged in to accept the terms of services and then you have to use it. And it also comes with like a very weird license that's called uh, Gemma Terms. I am not going to get into the license at this point, but it's not like it comes with a truly open license at this point, which I can completely understand they, like they, they don't want others to use it. So if you leave that thing aside, I think this is truly phenomenal from a company that uh, ideally sets a good path ahead. Something that Mistral has been doing. Mistral has kept a Mistral medium, which is their largest model at this point within themselves, but open sourced their smaller model, which is Mistral 7 billion parameter model, and also open source the mixture of experts model. So it, it could be completely possible to see Google going in that particular direction with Gemma 2 billion parameter model and Gemma 7 billion parameter model. Google also provides tool chain for a fine tuning the model in itself. So they've given how you can fine tune it either on your local laptop or on Google Cloud or on Kaggle. So if you go to Kaggle under Gemma, you can see already the code exists for you to fine tune the Gemma model. So the, the person from the Google team has updated. Okay, if you want to fine tune Google Gemma model, how do you fine tune it using Keras 3.0? I mean, if you are completely new to this word Keras, Keras is a deep learning framework, a very similar like PyTorch. It's slightly on the more abstracted side of PyTorch. Uh, a lot of people love PyTorch, I know, but uh, Keras was one of the easiest ways you could have gotten into deep learning in the back in the days. So you had like Keras that is built on top of TensorFlow and it was like very simple and easy to use. And Keras also supports a uh, JAX as a backend. So that means like you can either use Torch, or a TensorFlow generally, but now you can use it with JAX that would make things much faster, especially if you have got TPU. I'm not going to go into the pre uh, fine tuning in this particular video. I might make a separate video of fine tuning, but the code that they have released, I think they are using Databricks Dolly dataset for you to fine tune, which is quite fine. Like you can use any JSON L and then fine tune it using the code that they've given. Once again, good marks to Google for actually releasing the fine tuning code in itself. Google also says that they are uh, partnering up, up with NVIDIA GPUs to optimize uh, for uh, for everything. And the license says that uh, commercial use is permitted. You can distribution distribute it. But I don't know why they want to call it with some uh, some different license that they are calling instead of using any open source license. Anyways, I'm not here to complain about Google in this video. I truly want to appreciate their effort. So from the chart, you can see that you will see Gemma comparison with Llama 2, 7 billion parameter model and 7, 13 billion parameter model. Gemma almost beats Llama 2, uh, 7 billion in almost every single thing. In fact, it is much better than Llama 2, 13 billion parameter model. On general capability, reasoning, math, code, you see Gemma like actually like state of the art. But to be honest, to be fair, uh, Llama 2 is not state of the art. Llama 2 is not state of the art anymore. And that's why I put together a very small document for us to see what is the state of the art. I personally consider like if somebody asks me, hey, what is the model that I should be using? The first thing that I tell people is go use Mistral. So I wanted to compare how Gemma, the benchmarks, not the model performance, not from a personal exploration, but 
from the benchmarks, truly alone from the benchmarks, how does it do? So I went ahead and then compared it. Uh, I'm going to ignore the Lama to completely. So Gemma scores 64 on MMLU. This is five shot. I don't know what is the Mistral. So let's take it with a pinch of salt. Mistral has scored 62.5. Gemma has scored 64.3. That is well and good. And in terms of BB, reasoning, BBH and drop, we don't have the score. On Hella Swag, Gemma has scored 81.2. Mistral has scored 81, which is closer. Very good. On GSM 8K, Gemma has scored 46, while Mistral has scored 50. On Math, Gemma has scored 24. On uh, Mistral has scored 12.7. On Human Evil, Gemma has scored 32.3. And Mistral has scored 26. Maybe they are saying it is a state of the art. Also, because in a lot of benchmarks, this is better than Mistral 7 billion parameter model. That also shows that when the company releases the model in itself, so usually when the company releases the model, the model is not like a top-notch performance. It, it just like a slightly an incremental performance than existing models. The community comes down, like teams, like companies like Neos, Hermes, they start fine-tuning these models and then release much better model. And you can see that this is definitely uh, one of the best models at 7 billion parameter model because I didn't compare it with Zephyr and all the other fine tunes of Mistral. I'm comparing it with like raw instruction fine tune Mistral directly that came out of Mistral and Gemma that has come out of Google. And I think it's a very good improvement over Mistral in a lot of cases, except like let's say GSM 8K and uh, something else. But when you compare it to the Mi Mixtral, I, sh I should have said Mixtral 8X7B, I think this is still like a, a better model, but we can quite well appreciate that because it's a 7 billion parameter model. This is somewhere about like 40 billion parameter model and it requires more compute for you to use it. And um, yeah, with that, I think this is this is great news. And uh, like I said, Google has gone into the details about like how they ended up using uh, the Gemini technology, like how they built the Gemini. And they, they have given a reason why Gemma, the Latin Gemma, means a uh, precious stone oh i didn't know that i just i just know that it's a very common english girl name but i didn't know that it has a meaning behind it so they have given like a precious stone so they are accompanying the weights of gemini models like at least the lighter version of gemini model within gemma and for us to use it and they have gone ahead and again talked about safety talked about reasoning one important information that is hidden in this uh, blog post is that of course, you can use it on Kaggle for free. You can use it on Google Colab for free. And you can also get $300 credit if you're the first time Google Cloud user. More importantly, if you are a researcher, you can apply for Google Cloud credits up to $500,000. So you can go ahead right now, get access either on Hugging Face or on Kaggle and then start using Gemma. I'm going to definitely try out Gemma as soon as I can when I get time. And I think this is an exciting opportunity for us to try something like Phi, for example. Phi was a great model from Microsoft, but even though I'm not a like big fan of Phi personally, but I'm always happy when these big companies open source models because they've got a lot of compute. They, they build a lot of things. They've taken data in a lot of shady ways, to be honest. So when they open source models, at least with open weight that is commercially free, I truly want to appreciate them. And this is definitely one thing that I'm appreciating about Google for setting the path right and setting the road ahead really good that they are going to continue open sourcing the smaller weight, lightweight models while they're hosting the larger models. I think this is a truly great thing that Google DeepMind or Google has done overall. And uh, I'm looking forward to see what OpenAI might launch today. See you in another video. Happy prompting.